What is up, my Wiccas? This is Hadassah Muni coming right back at you with another pack reading. That is pick a card reading. And it is now de it is now January 13th to the 2021. Let's get started. All right, so we have the first card of the pack reading. This is Six of Roses, a.k.a. Six of Cups. Okay, so this is on the upright position. I'm going to go ahead and read it now. Okay, so the card depicts a war within a relationship and or battle within your heart about a relationship. Most often, this relationship is romantic in nature, but this card could also refer to a co-worker, partner, boss, or family member. There could be power plays, and at the very least, there is a lack of reciprocity and communication. You are at an impasse. Your intuition or your spirit, the white rose, has told you that this experience is not a supportive one, but your passions, fears, and needs the red rose, keep you from listening. You have tried to bring the two together as indicated by the dirty flag with the combined white and red rose in the, in the ground. But what's happening in this relationship is not compatible with your spirit's view for you. So there you stand, your spirit and your passions, just watching and waiting. This situation is nothing less than karmic, and it is time to listen and take action. Awareness, vision, and self-honoring are required now for you to position yourself best and make plans to leave the battlefield. All right, so again, this is the first card of the pack reading. This is Six of Roses. This is the War of the Roses card. This is also known as Six of Cups, if you are so inclined to wondering or whatever. The next card of the pack reading is King of Scrolls or King of um, King of Wands. This is in the up upright position. So if you chose the second card, this is the meaning. Okay. This man may present in your life already. If not, you'll be meeting him soon. He may be an author, teacher, or communicator who will assist you in some professional way. He could also be a friend who brings wisdom through his own studies and spiritual practices. Be open to the guidance of this man offers, for it could help lead your life in, exist in exciting new directions. As with any of the kings and queens, the king of scrolls may also be a new love interest for you or another, depending upon his location in the spread. His wisdom is compelling, and there are likely to be many interesting and lively discussions. This card may also represent you or someone you know who is longing for deeper understanding and a greater clarity of thought. Now is a great time to pursue new interests, perhaps even enroll in some classes or attend a lecture or two. A position in teaching, counseling, advertising, writing, publishing, or the like may be in the agenda now. A treasure trove of discovery is waiting for you. So let your mind in your life soar. Okay, again, this is the second card of the pack reading. And this is the King of Scrolls Upright, also known as the King of Wands. So the last and final card of the pack reading is 18. This is called Up in the Air. This is also upright. And since it is upright, I'm going to go ahead and read it. During this time of your life, there are aspects of an important situation that seems hidden to you. You may feel a strong, almost urgent desire to know how it's going to turn out. You can connect with your spirit guides in the Akashic Records and ask for a little insight, but there are elements that are unknown and at this time unknowable. There is too much about this situation that is still up in the air. There could be due to the influence of others who are undecided or some events that may not have yet come to pass or unexpected discoveries are yet to be made. Trust this is the only way for you now. 
If you push too hard to know or to influence the outcome, you might push that outcome away. Let go of all urgency and give situation to your higher infinite self who will take care of it all. Time is required to know more about this matter. And time doesn't matter to your internal self, whose power and love are always with you. For now, and intend, indeed forever, who else do you need? Nothing but trust the deepest knowing that all you seek will be revealed to you in the right time. Okay, so this is 18 up in the air. This is an upright position. And that is it for the pack reading today. We are featuring the Akashic, uh, I keep calling it Akashic record, but I guess it's the same shit. So the Akashic Tarot by um, Sharon Ann Klingler and Sandra Ann Taylor. Information about this deck is going to be in the description below. So if you want to know more about this deck, um, go ahead and take a look at the links. Um, I do totally recommend this deck. This is like one of my favorite decks, which is why I am using it now. Um, also, I will be doing a 800 follower giveaway on the stonepriestess.com blog. We are already at almost 700 and quite a bit have started following since I have announced my new giveaway. So it will probably won't be that long before I reach 800, but I still update you guys on where we're at since it's not really public view. I do update um, every once in a while on how many followers we have. I'm very certain that we're pretty close to 800 right now. And I'll be giving away either a tarot deck or a, a custom bracelet and a pendulum and just so that you guys get an idea of what my bracelets tend to look like um this is one of my very own let me just do this real quick this is one of my very own that i personally wear all the time and um a few of other ones that i have i'll just show you a few like this one is um this one is a three-tiered kind and then we have the regular singular one like this. And this is an example of a pendulum that I do make. So we have that. So it's so rude. That is so fucking rude. Anyway, so I'll be giving away either a tarot deck or a custom pendulum and a bracelet to the top follower once I reach 800 um, followers on the Stone Priestess blog. I do free um, t I do free tarot and intuitive readings every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays as long as I am not busy or drained, tired, or just like don't feel like doing it. <laughs> so yeah, like I do my readings every Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you guys have ever gotten an individual reading from me or felt that the pack readings were useful, I deeply, deeply appreciate it if you submit your your feedback on the stonepriestess.com blog so that people know who I am, what do I do, and how I do it, and um, you know, people get an idea of what to expect from me in a reading, even though it's free. Um, but it also helps me figure out like if there's anything that I need to improve upon. So it just really helps everybody all, all the way around. Okay, so that is it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I will be back with you on Friday the 15th for another pack reading. Uh, thank you guys so much once again and have a wonderful day.